There's a fairly new solar tax credit out there right now, and it can save you quite a lot of money on your solar system if you qualify. At the same time, it's like a lot of other tax stuff. It can be pretty confusing. Uh, I love covering the money and financial side of sustainability in real estate, and the newer solar federal tax credit fits right into this. In this video, I'm going to quickly cover what the solar ITC tax credit is, how you can get it, and then some real world examples so you can see what it looks like for yourself. I'll also include a quick walkthrough of the solar tax credit calculator we built on the website. And then that way you could plug in your own numbers and see what it'll do for you, including the carry forward timeline over five years. My name is Aaron Shine. I'm the founder of Attainable Home, where we combine affordable real estate with practical sustainability to increase your wealth and well being. So let's get started. Now, a quick disclaimer here I'm not a tax professional, and you're going to need to verify this information with your own CPA or tax preparer. I'm just going off the research that I found and the tax landscape at this current time. The information that I'm sharing is the best available at the time of making this video. So again, you'll have to dig into your own research. So to start off, what is this solar tax credit? Straight from the IRS website, it says that the residential clean energy credit equals 30% of the cost of new qualified clean energy property for your home installed anytime between 2022 and 2032. The credit amount is non-refundable, so the credit amount you receive cannot exceed the amount you owe in tax. You can carry forward any excess unused credit though and apply it to the reduced tax you owe in future years. So you might wonder, does the solar tax credit even work? And I can say gladly, yes it does. I got $5,602 back on my first solar install in our net zero home renovation project. And you can see the full story on the channel about that if you like. But that was when tax credits were 26% and now they're 30% even better. So before jumping into the examples and the calculator, I wanna go over just some quick facts and some things to note about the credit that you might wanna be aware of. The first point to note is that this is a tax credit, not a deduction. A tax credit is a dollar for dollar reduction in your taxes owed while a deduction is an amount deducted from your taxable income. Point two is that it's a non-refundable credit, which means that you don't get any kind of immediate tax credit check when the solar is immediately installed. You can deduct the amount on your taxes for that calendar year. This means realistically that you won't get the credit for up to a year or more especially if you extend your tax filing. The solar tax credit includes everything related to the install and the materials of the solar system. That can include batteries, labor, permits, engineering, and roofing materials related to, again, solar. But if you're doing a new roof, for instance, and that has nothing to do with the solar install, that is not something that you'll get a tax credit for. So it has to be related to the solar system itself. And to file the credit itself, it's going to be IRS form 5695. And the next point is really important for some of you. If the solar tax credit is more than you pay in the current calendar year, you will not get the full credit immediately. The leftover or rollover amount is pushed forward to the next calendar year, and this is called a tax carry forward. And the good news is that you can carry forward this uh, unused amount for the tax credit until the year 2032. The last point I wanna make on the tax credit for now is that you cannot take this on rental property. As far as we know, you must live in the house at least sometime during the year. So with that, let's jump into some examples where I'll run through a few different scenarios uh, to show you what the tax credit can look like. For the first example, let's say that the solar system costs $20,000 all in before the tax credit. Now with the new tax credit, we'll get 30, percent on that or we multiply 20,000 times 0.3 and that'll be a $6,000 solar federal tax credit, right? So that also means that the solar system will be a net cost of $14,000 after the tax credit, which is a big help. And so to get this $6,000 tax credit, you'll need to owe the IRS $6,000 in the current tax year. And for the second example, we will take the same $20,000 solar system. And then once again, we have a $6,000 tax credit, which is 30%. And so we have again, a net cost of solar panels kind of out the door. Now in this example, let's say that you only owe the IRS 
$4,000 in that current tax year. Well, you have a $6,000 credit. So that means in year one, you will only be able to take $4,000 on the solar credit, and then $2,000 will be pushed forward into year two. And so 4,000 plus 2,000 will equal this $6,000 solar tax credit in total. So you'll get the full amount in the second year there. And quickly for the third example, let's take the same $20,000 system. And again, we have this 30% solar tax credit. But let's say we have years one, two, and three, because you only pay in that year, let's say year one, your taxable liability is only $2,000 to the IRS, which means that you'll be able to take $2,000 in year one, but you'll have a balance of $4,000 left over from the credit in year two. So if you pay $2,000 every year for the tax credit, you have to keep subtracting that and the remaining balance will carry forward into the next year up to the year 2032. Sorry for my scribbles here but this will effectively close out the balance for the solar tax credit because you've gotten the full $6,000. It's just spread over the next three years. So this is why you have to be a little bit careful and have a good idea and be careful of what solar salespeople are telling you because you may not get the tax credit in the first year. And a lot of you are W-2 earners working for other companies uh, paying in a taxable payment every paycheck essentially and so a lot of you get refunds at the end of the year I'd like to include a, an example that shows a refund and some key points to note there so let's say that your employer takes out ten thousand dollars a year in taxes from your paycheck and I'll just write employer here Let's say at the end of the year, you actually only owe the IRS after all deductions and figuring out your uh, adjusted gross income, you only owe the IRS $8,000, which means that you would get a $2,000 refund from the IRS because you paid in too many taxes throughout the beginning of the year. And that's a side note, a lot of confusion where people uh, think they're actually getting a refund. Well, in actuality, you pay that money in through the year, so you did not get that in your pocket. So let's say that um, you have a $2,000 refund check coming back to you, but again, your total tax liability is only $8,000 per year. So let's say you get a solar system, solar PV system worth $30,000. Your 30% tax credit on that will be $9,000, right? $9,000 tax credit. Again, sorry for the handwriting. And because you only owe $8,000 per year in year one taxes, but your credit is $9,000, you will be pushing forward $1,000 into the next year because you can only take a solar tax credit that is equal to what you owe in the current tax year. That's what a credit is. It's crediting you back what you already owe in taxes. So in this case, your solar system is generating a bigger credit than you can pay in year one. And that way, uh, this will be car uh, carry forward amount, carry forward to year two. And in this last example, I want to include some higher numbers in case you're a bit of a uh, higher income earner and also will use a bigger solar system size. So let's say that your employer takes out 25,000 per year in taxes throughout the year. And this could be on your W-2 or however they take it out. Now let's say you actually owe, after all the deductions and figuring out your adjusted gross income, let's say your AGI, that's what that means, adjusted gross income is 20,000. So you owe the IRS 
20,000 in the current tax year, which means that you'll get a $5,000 refund, right? And the refund amount is actually unrelated to the solar tax credit. Your solar tax credit is solely based on this, but there are uh, there is some confusion that comes up with the refund. So I wanted to draw this out a couple times. So your total tax liability is 20,000. Now let's say that you buy a $50,000 solar system and your tax credit will be 30 percent of this so you multiply by 0.3 and your total tax credit will be fifteen thousand dollars for the solar system which is a nice chunk so because you pay twenty thousand dollars in year one taxes to the irs that this amount is more than your solar tax credit. And in this scenario, you get to take the full amount in year one because this number here is lower than what you owe in taxes. And so your end taxable amount to the IRS at the end of the year, including the credit, will be $5,000 for that calendar year. And to check out your own solar tax credit numbers, we built a calculator for that on the attainablehome.com website. You can go there directly and find the calculators link up at the top menu, or I'll include the link below in the description. And so when you get to the page, you just scroll down a bit. And if you know the cost of your solar system, you can enter that in here. And the calculator adjusts in real time, which is really nice. And we'll just go ahead and fill in a bit of information. Now, with taxes you owe, this calculator takes into account the amount that you'll pay at the end of the year. So we, you may not know these numbers exactly, but the nice thing is, again, this calculator adjusts in real time so that you can see the numbers as you, uh, as you play with it. And so let's say the cost of the solar system is $30,000 and you might owe $15,000 at the end of the year. And then this includes also, if you know your state or utility rebates, it might take a little bit of homework to know, you enter that in there because the tax credit subtracts from any uh, utility rebates or state incentives. And again, it depends on your own location, so you'll have to know that. Um, and then, so there's a spot for utility rebates or state rebates and then solar tax credits or deductions. And the reason these are separated is that because as far as we know, a state tax credit, for instance, let's put in 2,500 here, will subtract from the gross amount that your federal tax credit can be based on. And so, meaning that you won't get a tax credit basically twice or an incentive twice. But as far as we know, uh, there could be additional solar tax credits or deductions that uh, does not take away from your solar federal tax credits. So these two boxes are separate for that reason. Now, um, if you scroll down here, it'll give you your estimated solar tax credit and then the net system cost. And then what's most important and why I built this because I didn't see it anywhere else online at this time was this is a five year tax credit carryover chart by year. So if we go back to our examples where, let's say you have a pretty big solar system, but the estimated taxes you owe are only $5,000. Let's say you get a ton of deductions or for whatever reason, your AGI is only $5,000. You will still book a $15,000 tax credit in your solar system net cost is 35,000 on 50,000. However, your tax credit, your $15,000 tax credit will start being pushed into the uh, carry forward years or the future years because you don't pay, you won't pay $15,000 in the first year, you'll only pay five. So it will take five years or three years, sorry, to pay off the full tax credit. And that's what this little timeline here is for. There's also a visual version of the carry forward. And then this is just a graph showing the uh, tax credit amounts through the years as the law is currently written. So we have till 2032 with 
tax credit and then it tapers off to 2034 and there's nothing for 2035 as we know right now. And so uh, there's just some more fun graphs here, but I'll end it there for now. So I hope these examples in the calculator clear up some of the confusion. I think it's important because this can be thousands of dollars, if not tens of thousands of dollars for you with solar. So it's important to know the real numbers. You can visit the direct calculator in the link in the description below. And feel free to check out our other videos on the net zero solar home renovation I did and the solar install project start to finish. If you need any other help or consultation, feel free to ask in the comments below, or you can reach out to us directly. I appreciate your time as always, and thanks for watching.